Hey, what's up everybody? It's Royce from Pedal Metal. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be a little Comparo type of video. Uh, we have five different manufacturers of the 911 Turbo. And this should be a pretty interesting one. Uh, these are ones I've had all from new. Every one of them. And we will go through the five different types and manufacturers and the scales because they are a little slightly off. They're not all 164 scales. You can see right there as the silver matchbox in the middle is coming around. And uh, that's a major at right there. That's huge. But we'll go over all that here coming up. All right, starting from the left, we have this is a Tamika. I believe it's 161st scale. And then we have a original matchbox and then we have a hot wheels premium 911 actually it's listed as a 930 turbo and then we have a 911 turbo from johnny lightning which i'm not sure to scale that i'll double check and then we have a uh, majorette pulled fresh i just pulled it right out of the blister vintage just pulled right now i bought it years and years ago and so we'll take a look at that all right, we'll start with the oldest one first. So I'll clear the uh, turntable and we'll start with the silver 911 turbo from Matchbox. This is the uh, 1978 Matchbox 911 turbo. I have three different variants. I probably have more here. I know I have uh, lots of extras. All three of these were purchased new back in the late 70s by my oldest brother. He had a huge Porsche collection, didn't really kind of didn't want much to do with it after he moved out of my parents house so I kind of took it over which is a good thing for me because uh, many of these pretty much all of them were never played with uh, so that's kind of a nice thing to have unplayed with condition vintage uh, cars such as this uh, I will let's take a look what we can see here the silver has red interior the brown which is almost like a metallic root beer brown has a like a light tan color interior and the green one is a kind of like a sunflower yellow interior we're really strange unusual colors uh, we'll take a look at the more normal looking one the silver one as we can see here it is dated 1978 matchbox super fast made in england uh, they all have metal gloss black bottoms you know the same wheels and tires uh, they all had hitches on them so you could uh, drag around your little sailboat or whatever else you have and all the doors open up which i don't want to open the doors on because i opened it up a while ago and they're very difficult to get closed it's kind of a pain in the butt there to get closed but this is the, the i think the very first uh one that was ever made i don't think i think they beat everyone else out as far as i know of producing uh, 911 turbo right off the bat and like I said the bases are dated 78 on all three of these but I I always thought they were actually older than that looks like the brown one might be I guess they're all dated 78 but uh, not bad we got the we have the early uh, tail on the back here you know they don't have a lot of detail to them but that's to be expected. I, I do like the red interior with the silver. It actually doesn't look that bad compared to if you're looking at the other wild colors, such as the uh, Viper green one. They don't even have a scale listed, so I'm not sure what... Um, I have some of the original packs here somewhere that they came in, the Matchbox packs. And I'm not sure if they actually used to list a scale or not with them. We'll just say it's 164 scale. All right, we'll move on to number two, the second oldest one of the grouping I have, which is the Tamika. Okay, this is a 1979 911 Turbo from Tamika. Really cool. They did make, I believe, silver in these as well, and possibly white. Uh, like I said, my brother had purchased this uh, new in the late 70s so it's in unplayed with condition looks pretty decent uh, doors can open up on these we'll take a look at it here 
wheels are kind of like a four spoke wheel. It's not hard to see that. Might be able to see it there in that lighting. Tamika was always known uh, as kind of like uh, very detailed compared to Hot Wheels at the time when Tamika or it was sold under the Tommy name in the United States arrived. These were a big deal, especially their Formula One cars. They were very detailed. So people clamored to, to get them because they were just uh, uh, light years ahead of uh, Hot Wheels and Matchboxes, at least in my opinion, and my father's as well, because I remember my father buying all the Formula One cars and really raving about them. Interior looks pretty detailed. Black interior. Really nice. I believe these are listed as 160. Let's see here, which it says does say 930 turbo on the bottom, plastic base, Tamika 1979, one, yeah, 161st scale on that. So we'll pull up, park it next to the matchbox and it's quite quite smaller in scale obviously uh, the camera's angled slightly here but in person there you have to take my word for it it's uh, really a lot smaller than the matchbox okay so that's the tamika pretty cool we'll move on to the third one okay the third oldest ones that i have here in my 930 collection is a 157th scale majorette this is freshly pulled right out of the blister just now. Uh, right here it is. It's one of the old movers one. Hills used to be a department store where I live and uh, pulled it out of the pack and there's the other ones you could get. There's a lot of different ones. Um, it's unusual. Don't really, I don't really care for the huge uh, Porsche emblem on the hood. And the wide tires are, they look fine from the side, but they're almost too wide. They're pretty ridiculous in person. Now you can kind of, you can kind of push them, push them back in. This one has a white plastic interior. It's not bad looking. I could see that it's being worked on and souped up in detail. It would probably look pretty cool. Very simplified base, very similar to the Mystos. A lot of the uh, Yatmings and some of the other lesser grade um, cars you used to find in department stores as a child, and they still sell, which I believe is Zymax and uh, Yatming and whatnot. The, the construction looks very similar. And this is made in Thailand, it says on the pack. I always thought these were made in France, it says made in, made in Thailand. But it's got the 3.3 liter whale tail on the back, it's not flat as some of the other two that we previously looked at. All the next three here are all going to have the 3.3 liter tail with the lip. All right, so that's the Majorette, and we will move on to the next one. All right, number four is one that I just reviewed the other night. Uh, this is out of the 50th anniversary Porsche Manufacturer Series box set from Hot Wheels. And this is Hot Wheels 930 Turbo. And uh, they did make this in uh, silver and white, I believe, as well. Or no, I don't think they ever made silver. I know you can get white because I have one here, and I'll, I can park that up there then. But uh, I th I'm pretty sure you can get yellow in the Motor Trend series, I believe. But this was never sold as a basic mainline, only as a 100% uh, black box series and the manufacturer series Hot Wheels. It's very detailed, I think, for a Hot Wheels car. And we'll take a look at it here. Back looks great on it. Lots of details. Got two mirrors. Lots of details on the whale tail. It's got the stone guards on the side and little black stripes. Black door handles. Now, I did paint the centers of the wheels gloss black. They were all over chrome. You can lift up the engine bonnet and you have the 3.3 liter motor in there with the inner cooler a little bit of details it does have a satin black metal base that is fully detailed from hot wheels uh, they do not do that anymore that's for sure i think these were some of the best time period for hot wheels is in the early 
late 90s, early 2000s in my opinion. Really nice. And I'll bring the bring the white one in, which is totally unmodified as the chrome. Center wheels, which is the way they were sold. But those wheels and tires were never used on any other Hot Wheels car as far as I know. They were exclusive to this car and this car only. Really, really nice and the white just pops. Uh, if I could own a real one, I'd probably love to have a white one like that. Really awesome. So there you go. That is car number four from Hot Wheels, their 930 Turbo. Alright, the last one we have to compare is from the year 2000 or 2003 i should say uh this is the basis date this is from johnny lightning and this is their in there it was in like an owner series of cars that came with a, a photo card from the actual owner who owned a car that they used to model this off of i have the card here somewhere um they did an awesome job i think on these and believe it or not this i found at a store and on clearance and now these these go for i think over 25 dollars a piece on ebay i think i paid two dollars for it new in the pack and it's just awesome it's a really really nice one they made it also in dark brown i believe and black but the uh, silver one i'm the original owner of it and that's pretty cool never uh, actually all these i didn't purchase any of these off of ebay uh this is probably the most detailed album out of out of the five I would say in terms of um, detailing and per pretty much per near perfection I think of uh, I guess their tampos as well what Johnny Lightning used but the bumperettes painted in and the whale tail looks awesome on it now uh, the engine detail is not very good on inside of it it's just kind of like a chunk of black plastic uh, we have a outline for the sunroof which looks really nice we do have the stone guards there. Wheels are kind of like a, a, a feeble attempt, I think, at Fuchs wheels there, but that's uh, they're better than nothing. Now this is a Euro, uh, supposed to be, I believe, like a, one that was imported in like an 82 or 83. It's got the Euro side markers on it right here. So it's very detailed, I think, for, for what you, getting for the money I think it was really well done the execution on it's great I always thought the doors opened. I guess the doors don't open on this hmm. uh, it has gloss black metal base rubber tires it's a very unusual one you do not see this very often in people's collections who have uh, Porsches this is just one that people miss for whatever reason but I always liked it I think it's a really nice representation uh, the details here, like the reverse lights and all that looks great, and the Porsche logo on that. The center reflector looks amazing. Really nice. The wheels are a little on the small side, as you can see there in that shot. They look a little goofy, but that could be fixed if you wanted to. But I, these are becoming so valuable that I don't really want to modify this one at all. Uh, this is another one that is I'm going to keep bone stock in my case. All right, so we'll just put some others next to it, and we'll see here the, the size, because I don't know the size of that. I think it's 164, though, that Johnny Lightning. The Tamika obviously is a little bit, little bit smaller. We'll put the matchbox behind it, a little bit bigger. We have, we'll park the white one here in front. So almost, actually, it's a little bit smaller than the Tamika. The Hot Wheels is a little bit smaller. I don't know, they don't really tell you the scale, I guess, of that, but they always claim it's 164 scale. And then we'll put the huge majorette in the back there. And that is an interesting shot right there. That might be our thumbnail for the night. Wow, that looks cool on the screen. That is going to be the money shot there. Awesome. So, all right, hope you guys liked that video. And I'll get a shot here of all of them spinning around together. I think I already did that, didn't I, in the beginning? Either way, hope you guys like that. Be sure to share it. If your friends are into Porsches or diecast cars, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, consider it, please. It's free. Hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys later. I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye now.